Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I want to demonstrate how to download and install a free and tiny piece of software called Touchpad Blocker. It works on Windows machines only. Touchpad Blocker stops the touchpad on your laptop from working when you are typing and this hopefully solves that age-old problem of the cursor suddenly moving around the page when we are trying to type. And you can see on your screen that I'm at the website here. Now this is an annoying enough problem in terms of the cursor moving around the page if you quickly recognize that the cursor has moved because you can see it in a different position on the page but it's a bigger problem and a much bigger nuisance if you have a visual impairment because it will take you longer to realize that the cursor has moved to a different position on the page and then it will take you even longer to get the cursor back to where it was. Like anything to do with computers there are many different ways to do the same things. Some laptops have keys on the keyboard that enable you to switch the touchpad on and off and on other laptops you can adjust the software in order to disable the touchpad. Now touchpad blocker as I've said is a very small download and it just works in the background. It disables itself after, the, after any key on the keyboard is pressed. The software has a shortcut on the desktop which you can just click to turn it on and off and there you can also turn it on and off with a keyboard shortcut. Now importantly the software seems to be safe since I downloaded it a couple of days ago nothing horrible has happened on my computer. I haven't gone to any surprise pages when I've tried to go on the internet or anything like that so it does seem safe to download. However just watch out because as you can see from this page it's an incredibly busy page it's got adverts on it all of which scream at you to download but in my experience you want to either do this download this black download button up here or this black download button up here down here sorry so I'm going to be using this black download button here so it's a very small software download so you can see that it's done it in a fraction of a second so let's open it up and then it takes us through a setup wizard and again we just like most pieces of software just click next or I agree And there we go. Now it's asking us do we want to run touchpad blocker at the moment, um, which we do. We don't necessarily want to report the installation to the website. So here we go. So let's have a look. Right, you can see here this is a desktop shortcut for me, touchpad blocker, and this is the control panel of the software itself so these are our options on it we can automatically run the program on startup we can show system tray notifications which is these little notifications down here there we are there with touchpad blocker we can block accidental taps and clicks so make sure all of those I would suggest are ticked or checked now this time interval to block clicks this is after you press a key on your keyboard how quickly afterwards does this software disable your touchpad and you've got a, a choice here I would suggest that you kind of go for as quickly as possible it's also also blocking our move and wheel events if your touchpad has facilities like that and it will bleep when a click is blocked it's important to say that of course as well as the touchpad beneath most touchpads are your left and right mouse buttons and it will block the use of those while you're writing as well and it will also bleep to let you know you've accidentally turned those that you've accidentally pressed either the left or right mouse button and we, here's our keyboard shortcut by pressing control and F9 we can turn it off as we can see from the notification 
or we can turn it back on. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration here of um, touchpad blocker. No, at the moment to move my mouse around I am using my touchpad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the address bar up here and with my left hand I'm just going to do um, I'm just going to start pressing um, different keys to activate the writing and then with my right hand I'm going to be moving my mouse cursor around randomly as you can see. So let's see what happens. Okay. So as I just pressed, you can see I repeatedly pressed the letter A as I was pressing that. Then the touchpad, the movement from the touchpad actually froze. And then as soon as I stopped, I've got the movement back again. So there we go everyone, that's a really, really useful piece of software when, we, uh, when, we, when we've got a touchpad on our, on our laptop and when we're trying to write, whether it be on the internet or in Microsoft Word or anything like that. As usual, any comments about this video, any comments about the software, please leave your comments in the space below the video. Thank you for watching.